Well, this is no picnic you've asked me on. You don't even know what language they speak, if any. It's like working out a system of communication with gollywogs. How the devil to find a point of contact? How about pie? That's hardly the way to offer it, Stu. And by the size of that slice, I doubt if there's anything left. I mean, pie. Now, what are you talking about? Well, if we're getting answers, they have to have a transmitter as powerful as ours. Go on, what are you driving at? Well, they can't build anything like that unless they know how to make a wheel. That means a circle. And you can't make a circle without knowing the ratio of the diameter to the circumference, pi. I still don't understand what that has to do with... The... Your son's ahead of you, Cronin. What is pi? 3.1416, as I remember. Roughly. That's it, roughly. Actually, it's 3.1415926 and so on, an infinite number of decimals. Well, so what? We broadcast 3.1416 to Mars, and what can they answer? Nothing. But they must be trying as hard to talk to you as you're straining to talk to them. All they're looking for is an opening. So, you don't broadcast 3.1416. You broadcast 3.1415. And if they understand, they continue the equation. Right. <laughs> well, where'd you get that idea, son? Biting into this. <laughs> Come on, let's get over to the lab and try it on right now. Aren't you coming? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just the babysitter around here. If this comes off, I'll wake him when we come in. What makes you think I'll be asleep? Three, one, four, one, five. Three, one, four, one, five. Three, one, four, one, five. Shut it off. Three. One. Four. One. signal back the same blasted story. Chris, look! Nine! Two! Six! Linda, we've done it. Dear Lord, don't make us sorry. 